If you're self-employed, expose to Section Dog Handler, or you work for a company, then you certainly need to be looking at doing some bulk training. Bulk training is where you would train on large quantities of explosives. Now for security purposes, I'm not gonna mention which individual substances that we've been training for, because that would be stupid. I can explain of the groups. Um, the groups of explosives are military, commercial, and homemade explosives. Homemade explosives are the most important ones because these are often used in terrorist attacks. We simply do not have access to homemade explosives. What well, advocates against the law. We can get products that are available to us that replicate the scent but there's no scent like the live scent. So we will travel down to Alfred Technologies, which is located just near Bristol, and there's myself from Inter K9 and Lee Mason from Tactical K9 Solutions, two companies coming together and training together, which is what it should be all about. Companies coming together and working together and training to be better. In total, there's eight handlers we arrived at Alfred's Technologies, was greeted by Bambi Wilding and Simon Malin, who are the external trainers. So the four companies working together and we was given a safety brief and then we basically got stuck into it. At the end of the day, there's a lesson on explosives, uh, certainly the HME side of it. And we talk a little bit more in depth about them explosives. As a trainer or handler, you should be developing your skills and understanding the explosives that you're actually searching for. In the private sector, uh, most of us are training on smaller quantities of explosives because of our, our ability to, to hold the larger quantities. So our dogs are training on maybe 10 or 20 gram samples. Coming here at Alfred's, firstly, it allows us a, a wider range of explosives, but coming here to Alfred's allows us to train on different types of military, commercial and homemade explosives. But more importantly, we can train on larger quantities, kilos, uh, in more realistic height placements. It also allows us uh, a longer soak time. We're in a secure environment, which means we can put the hides out. They're safe. We don't have to keep eyes on them. But here, they actually make the HMEs for us uh, a couple of days before we're training on them. Uh, so, I mean, you, you can't get better. But what we are doing is we're able to train the dogs on other products elsewhere and then test them and proof them on, on the real kit here. Only probably in the last four or five years open this up to yep. the wider family so the idea is that other trainers other companies can come here uh, with myself hosting it if they want to if people want to provide their own trainers that's absolutely fine we'll put the hides out we'll oversee it so it's a slick day you haven't got to worry about or you know all the logistics side of it so if you're an exposed protection dog handler and you're looking to have a bulk training day then you need to be speaking to Simon Malin because he's the guy who oversees the training for dog handlers at Alfred Technologies. Teamwork makes your dream work.